In this episode, we are going to make a cow catcher that goes right on the front of your train. I don't know why they call it a cow catcher when it really just pushes cows out of the way and then you have ground beef. So let's hit create and document and call it a cow catcher with your initials on the back side so we know who on the team did it. And we're going to start by hitting, uh, actually, I'm going to turn off the front view and the right side view for now and just have the top view on there and start by hitting sketch and top view, flipping over the top view and grabbing a line and saying, all right, we want a horizontal line coming across there. We want it coming down a little bit, down and up and here. So we've got it enclosed. Uh, we want to use these constraints. We haven't really used a lot of the time, so we want to use the perpendicular constraint, and we want this and this to be perpendicular. We want this line and this to be perpendicular. We also want to use the equals constraint because we want this line and this line equal, and we want this line and this line equal. All right, let's use, uh, let's start dimensioning. So. You can click that for dimension, and we want this total distance to be 1.8. We also want to like center this. So if you can you gotta kind of move your mouse around a little bit and find that origin, and then to the right side or the left side, really doesn't matter, 1.8 divided by 2, which is also known as 1.9. Um, we want that height right there to be 0.25. Ooh, I was really close. And we want this distance to this endpoint to be 1. All right, so far so good. Um, go ahead and hit the checkbox there. And we've got our top view. Okay, so we've been taking this and extruding parts up, but the the top of this cow catcher is slightly smaller. It's a similar shape, but slightly smaller. So the best way to do that is to create a loft. So the next thing to do is grab a plane. We want to offset this plane. So we're going to click on top view. You want to make sure your arrow is going up. And the distance we want to go up is 0.75. And we're going we're gonna to click on that. And we've got it up a little bit, okay. And I'm going to rename this to top. I'm going to rename this top CC for top of the cow catcher. All right, let's then sketch on this top view. And I'm going to rotate it around, and I'm going to look down on it, and I'm going to grab the line tool. I'm going to start right along that origin again. Um, not on the origin, slightly to the left, because now we know that uh, it is lined up with the cow catcher below. I'm going to go down slightly. I'm going to go over, over, and back up to where I started. Um, not a great looking uh, similarities, but that's why I'm going to use the constraints for the perpendicular. I'm going to say we want this and this to be perpendicular. We want this and this to be perpendicular. We want to use the equals constraint. And I want to say this is equal to this. And I want to say this line and this line are equal. And now let's start dimensioning. So I want the from the width of this to be 1.2. I want to try and grab that dot and make this 1.2 divided by 2, which is also 0.6, so that kind of helps center it. I want to uh, have the height of that to be 0.25, I believe. Yes. And I want from this point to the line here to be 0.75. All right. 
And I should have this and this should be like lined up perfectly because we use that as our as our uh, reference. So when I hit the green checkbox and I rotate this back to isometric, um, I'm going to use the loft tool, which is right here. And I'm going to click on the bottom one and then I'm going to click on the top one and I'm going to click green checkbox and it's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn off that top of the cow catcher view. And I'm just going to kind of rotate that around. Looks good. And then I'm going to hit sketch and I'm going to click on this sketch three. And so um, what I want to do next is create an offset of this and I want to go inside. I don't want to go inside by much. So I double click on that and I want to make that um, 0.1. And hit the green checkbox. And so what I did there was I offset and I, it just automatically grabbed the outside there and it traced it and then I offset and I made it smaller by 0.1 because then I want to extrude this section that we just did. I want to remove it by um, 0.05. So we've got a little indention there. All right, um, let's go ahead and turn on, let me zoom out a little bit. And I turn on the right side view because I want to mirror what I just made. Oh, I want to mirror and I drop this down to feature mirror. I want to mirror this extrusion one. And the mirror plane I want to use is this right side view and hit the green checkbox and now you can see we just got that successfully made i'm going to turn that back off and i'm going to flip underneath it i'm going to use what's called the shell tool and click the bottom of the shell tool and i want to make the shell thickness um, I want the shell thickness to be 0 0.05. And why isn't it working? Oh, I know why. Okay, so make the shell thickness. 0.1 and it doesn't work because we can actually grab this and pull it up above the extrusion. This extrusion was giving us a problem. Uh, we probably should have done the shell right before we did those. And so you can actually change the order as you just saw me do and it works perfectly. All right, the last thing we wanna do is we wanna add some, um, some like bolts on the back of this so that it will fit into the um, the train body. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab a sketch and we're going to click on the back side of here and we want three circles. One of those circles needs to be directly above um, the center point here. One needs to be on the bottom right quadrant and one needs to be on the bottom left quadrant. You'll notice I, I didn't really do um, sizes, but let's go equal and let's make this one equal to this one and this one equal to this one. And so now all three are equal in size. Let's then grab some dimensions and say, hey, let's dimension this from the bottom and say we want this to be 0.125. We also want this one to be a distance of 0.125. Um, we want the outside corner to be 0.275. We want this outside left corner 
from here to be 0.275. And we want the height of the one there in the middle to be 0.625. And we want the diameter of that to be I'm having a tough time finding it, 0.125. And just to make sure, this one is also 0.125 because we made them equal in size. Okay. Um, so this is in the center. And just double checking that. All right. Let's then extrude these three holes. One, two, three. And we want the distance of that to be we want the distance of that to be point one two five. There we go. And one of the last things we need to do is add a chamfer. We want to go distance and angle. We want the distance to be 0 0.01 at 45 degrees. And I want to click on the outside of that circle, the outside of that circle, and the outside of that circle. And we've got a pretty good looking cow catcher. I'm gonna turn off that. And one of the last things we're doing with all of the parts is making it ABS plastic. So right click on your part, go to assign material and click where it says none and type in ABS and hit your green checkbox. And you are all done. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or need any help.